Hi, Perry Romanowski here from Chemist Corner with another tip for formulating cosmetic chemists. Today we're going to look at the uh, idea of how you figure out how much your formula is going to cost. As a cosmetic chemist, you're going to frequently be asked by uh, people involved in your projects uh, what the cost of your formula is. This is not a very difficult thing to do, but if you don't know how it's done, it it's, uh, can, can seem challenging. But here is, uh, in a nutshell, how you can go about uh, costing out a formula. And I'm going to leave this spreadsheet open so you can download the spreadsheet and use it as a template. So on this formula here, uh, on the screen you see, uh, is just a basic shampoo formula. Um, and it has water, color, uh, some surfactants, fragrance, preservative, etc. So the first thing you need to do when costing a formula is to find out the cost per pound of every ingredient. In this column here you can see I've listed in the cost per pound. So water generally has no cost associated with it. This will depend on your uh, the way your financial people handle things but in general water is always a zero. You can see something like color I say $18 a pound. Now, I should note that all of these numbers are just uh, approximate guesses. These are not any set numbers uh, that I got from anywhere. I'm j essentially, I'm just guessing at approximately what these things would cost. So we have that. So I've gone through and looked for cost per pound of all of these. Now, this information you can get from your suppliers and they should readily give that to you or from your purchasing department if you work through them. So once you've filled in the cost per pound you need the percentage of the ingredient in the formula. Now this is what you've been working on so presumably you will already have this. Then we end up with a calculated number here and this is the percent of uh, cost associated with this particular ingredient. And the way that this is calculated is that you multiply the percent by the cost per pound and you divide by 100. This is this formula right here. So in the case of disodium EDTA, $4 a pound times 0.1% divided by 100 gives you 0 0.004. Now this number here is in terms of um, dollars. So uh, the disodium EDTA contributes 0 0.004 dollars per pound. Um, if we've gone through and say something like ammonium lauryl sulfate which is 75 cents a pound or 0.75 dollars a pound, that represents uh, 0.188 um, dollars per pound in the formula or approximately 18.8 .8 cents. If we've gone through and did those calculations, added them all up, we total the number here and we get uh, this formula costs 0.44 dollars per pound to produce, or 44 cents a pound. Now, if you're selling one pound of formula, 44 cents a pound is your raw material cost. Uh, if you multiply that out by at least four times, maybe five times, you'll see that you need to charge at least two dollars per pound um, to uh, to make a profit on this product. So that's basically how you do it. Here is the information you need. Here is the formula. Uh, I've got a form here which gives you the basic uh, formula there and you can fill in cost per pound ingredients. You can add ingredients uh, as required and that pretty much is that. I hope you enjoyed this uh, little tip and if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment below or send an email to us through our Contact Us page. Thanks!